Good afternoon. The weekend is here. We are now at Saturday. I hope you're all having a lovely Saturday, even if the weather's a bit rubbish. Um, so, yeah, where you left us off last, we finished the season. We were just going through the season review, and then we were just looking at players that we're keeping, looking at players that we're selling, looking at players that we're looking to sign. So that's as far as we've got. Um, we did sign a few players here. Uh, let's just go through them. So, yeah, so Anthony Oyono and uh, I'm not going to pronounce his first name, but Petrovic, um, we signed them after having them on loan for the season and they impressed us. So uh, we looked at the free transfer market from the players released from the other Scottish clubs. We managed to sign Ryan Manning, Lauren Shankland and Cameron Devlin. Um, we signed this player here who's not very good, so I'm not going to bother showing you. Um, we brought in Fabian Angel, who we agreed to take on loan uh, in the middle of last season, um, but he comes in now. We've signed a talented young player called Gary Forrest, who we now sent out on loan. And before we left uh, the episode, we signed Cameron Bruce, who's a very good player. So we've got him on the left and Gary Rue on the right. So we're very, we're doing very well for Scottish fullbacks. And then... Uh, I don't think we sold anybody really. Oh yeah, we sold uh, Kevin Nisbet, Alan Campbell. Yeah, so let's just see how we get on. So yeah, so this episode is basically just going to be me going through this as a live episode really. Um, trying to get as much done as possible. I'm hoping this episode and next episode is the transfer window and pre-season done. And then I'm hoping Monday's episode will be officially starting the next season. So we'll just try and get done as much as possible. Signed a new scout, Lars Engel. Oh, he's very good. Oh, let's have a look at these, see if there's any. So right position in the latest competitions ranking. Uh, Nothing for us to worry about on that one. Two nations have the highest uh, confederate kun, kun, coefficient, or whatever they call it. Anyway, extra Champions League place, but that's not us. It's Spain and Portugal. So we've got the Europa Conference League first qualifying round draw in a minute. So we'll do that live. Uh, yeah, just giving these other players a scout. None of them are worth signing. Oh, they've already done the draw without us needing to do it. So we've got, we're playing St. Patrick's Athletic in 8th of July. Uh, and then if we beat them, we've got Pogan, Setizvitz Cet and Dijarzans. Right, so our next game is in 22 days' time. Oh, he's a pretty good player, isn't he? Oh, I wish I bloody signed him. Right, we're not selling doers. Go away. Especially to you, Rangers. You can bugger off. Uh, do we want to send him out on loan? Probably, yeah. Uh, he's not going to get first team football with us this season. Ah, Mat Matisse Hansen went to Leeds in the end. Signed Godson. Dalton, sorry. Uh, what's his personality like? Spirited? It's not too bad. Uh, Lewis Vaughan. Right, we'll ask agent. Will that work? Uh, we'll get Simon. I don't want to sell him because he's he's part of the furniture here. I just thought for some reason he he'd sign a new contract. When's his contract expire? Yeah, we've gone for three years. He's not going anywhere. I don't care how old after he gets. 
You're here forever. Uh, feels his time has run out. Start playing in a preferred position and role. Feels like it's time to move on for a new challenge. No, nope, you're not going anywhere. Then again, if somebody if somebody makes an offer for him, I'll let him go. Because actually, I will let him go. I'll just send him off on his way. If he's not happy, he's not happy. I don't want to. He's a club legend at the end of the day. We don't want to uh, make him hate the club. We'll be sad though, because he, he's been there for the whole time. I would have liked him to have been there when we won the Scottish Premiership as well, just to say I've had a player there all the way from the beginning. I suppose Gary Rue, Gary Rue will have to be that player now. Even though he joined us in the, I think it was second season, in the youth intake, but still technically the same thing. But yeah, it would have been nice to have Lewis Vaughan there all the way. God, I hate them press conferences, they're so long winded. Not press conference, pre season team meeting. Uh, like I said, we'll get to the 1st of July, and then, in fact, can I, can I look at free transfers now? See if there's any players we can bring in. Edit. Uh, we'll go clear. Clear. Why are you not? Oh, there we go. It just takes a while. Um, all right, contract status, unattached. And then we go... Search by caps. Uh, see, oh, Liano Bakuna. How old is he? No, he's too old. Too old and probably just wouldn't get a game. Be waste of money. Tino Canary. He'd be a good signing, I think. Uh, Ali Salah. Uh, maybe, I suppose. Actually, let's, let's go recommended first and let's just see who they recommend first. Mackenzie Case. Used to play for Celtic. Uh, Frankie Maguire. I feel like that's uh, Harry Maguire's brother, but I could be wrong. Uh, Sean McGurk. I did look at signing him ages ago, actually. So, he'd be a good free transfer signer, I think. Josh Clark. Always could do with a good backup goalie. I think we've got loads of goalies, to be honest, but... I'm a bit of a hoarder. I just like to sign all the players. I want all the players. Rocco Vata. Some of these I can just sign and maybe look at selling at some point, make a little bit of money on them. Right. Let's get, search for players that are well known to the world. Ooh, Damsgaard. Oh, he'd be a hell of a good sign in Damsgaard. That could be our sign of the season, hopefully. Derek Ferguson? Oh, no. I was thinking he was Scottish then. What a name, Noah Powder. Uh, doesn't look like there's going to be any, like, like amazing player, like Paul Pogba type of player. But we'll just keep scrolling down. I think we've got to wait for the first of July as well, to be honest, for the for them to come up. So we'll check again in the first of July. I'm just gonna Jethro Williams, probably too old, isn't he? Oh no, thirty three. No, 
moves you back up. There's no point. We've got loads of left backs now. Uh, uh, nobody just stands out by the looks of it. Ruben Caldwell, maybe. Welsh international. 25, yeah, be a good option, I think. Emergency backup. Right, I'll leave that for now. We'll sign them. And then we'll try and get to the 1st of July. And then we'll see who comes available. Matthias Hansen's gone to Leeds. Good luck to you. Never know, we might sign him down the road. See, you want a new challenge, but nobody wants you. So, if nobody wants you, you're staying here. So, we try and. Uh, if we offer you out again, we'll just. We're willing to take nothing, and we'll even pay for some of the wage. There we go. We can't do any better than that, Lewis. If nobody wants you, if nobody wants you after that, <laughs> what can we do? You're just gonna have to stay here and retire. Hopefully, I can bring him back one day uh, as a um, as a coach or something. Now we've had an offer for him, but we're not we're not gonna give you one of our best youth prospects to one of our rivals. It takes ages for these days to process at times. Come on. Is there something about this particular day that takes a while? Shouldn't be. Uh, okay. What's going on here? I mean, that's doing that. So if that, if that wasn't doing that, then I'd assume that the game's crashed. Has the game crashed? Am I being trolled right now? What's going on? What is going on? I think the game's... Oh, no. Whew. Got worried then. All right. Just maybe just takes a while. Uh, Rui draws interest from Bari. Uh, maybe this is the season we lose Rui. Hopefully not. If we lose Dewhurst and Rui in the same season, that'll be that'll be not good at all. It's very difficult to replace players of that quality on the cheap. There we go. We sign Gue. Oh, is it called Gay? It Gouet. I'm going to say Gouet. But saying Gouet sounds less offensive than saying gay, doesn't it? Obviously, if it's his name, it's his name. But yeah, I just don't want it to be. I just don't want to be misquoted or clipped or something. Uh, right, Mackenzie. Ace has turned up. He's come along for the journey. Good little defensive midfielder, Scottish as well. We're uh, we're building a nice little Scottish core of players now, which is good. I still want to bring in foreign players as well, international players, um, will renowned players like Paul Pogba. Uh, I have no set transfer policy uh, or anything like that. I just yeah, I just want to add a, have a bit of everything, as they say. Signed Josh Clark. I feel like we we need to look at the goalkeeper situation. I think 
uh, actually no, we'll do that, we'll do that, do that, and then, oh no, we're, not, we're actually, we're not doing that bad, uh, probably do, we're getting rid of McCory, I think, no, we'll keep him, because he's good, mental for the young goalkeepers, I suppose, so yeah, so we'll leave that, so we've only got four goalkeepers, it's not that bad, for the first team, we've probably got loads in the reserves and that, but yeah, uh, Gary Rui, wanted by Juventus, Napoli, Benfica. Ay, ay, ay. I don't think we're keeping him. Oh, I'll be gutted if he goes. Right, Ruben Colwell's come in. So is Rocco Lovato. These helps with squad reg registration as well. Plus, like I said, if they don't get any first team football by January, you can just sell them and make like even if you just make a hundred grand on each player. It's still it's still better than nothing, isn't it? Uh... Leon Bailey. Uh, I thought he, I thought he'd have gone to a better club than o Oceana, however you pronounce them. No offense to any Oceana fans in that in here. Who watch? Sorry. Right, McCurk is it? There you go. We've made him happy. David Fraser again. We're not selling him, so. Right, Jamie Fullerton. Oh, he's rubbish. Why the hell did we bring him in? I can't release him either. That is such a waste. Ugh. Technical director needs to bugger off, I think. Bringing in bloody scout. He did well, though, because the other scout he brought in was really good, so I don't understand why he's brought in Jamie Fullerton. Ah, oh, pop this out. Oh, only for a few days. It's fine. Fourteen days till the first game of the season. So, hopefully, we can play that before the end of this episode. I'm assuming we can. Right, the board want to expand the wage budget for assistant manager. That's fine. Another rubbish offer, or they, we're not we're not selling to Rangers. Uh, we're not selling into you, Rangers. You can book her off. Ah, damn it! Damsgaard. Oh, look at that. He would have been a great sign for us. Ah, oh, such a shame. Can't get them all though. Who's just signed him? Our own Salah or Salah. Salah. Uh, oh, didn't get a cab wheat. Uh, Cad Cadaway Cadaway, sorry. Rocky Balboa is gone. So is these. Uh, keep getting bloody. Media interest in Dewhurst. I can't lose Dewey and Flippy, not Dewey, Rui and Dewhurst at the same transfer window. That'll drive me mad. I mean, how do you go about replacing players of that quality? It's going to cost you a fortune. 
Then again, I am pretty good at bargain hunting with in this save, so I've managed to sign some decent players quite cheaply. Let's see if we can find players similar to... Oh, bloody hell, Gary Rui's value's gone down ridiculously bad. That's a bit of a kicker. Uh, but he's not going anywhere, because he'll they'll have to pay £14 million for him. Uh, right, what am I doing? Yeah, similar players. So we've got him. Oh, we've got quite a few, actually. Right, so what we'll do then is... Um, Players eight. Where's players? Oh, there you go. Players age is that you know. So we'll just go thirty at the highest, and then no injuries. And then if we give all these a bit of a scout. Mania maybe. Twenty nine. No, he wouldn't. Be, he'd be a stopgap. He wouldn't be. Let's do overview, let's do age. He might be a good one. In fact, I might just sign him anyway. Probably won't work out well. Might not be very good, but his attributes are the same as uh, Rui, so you never know. And then you got him here. Pretty good, so we'll probably sign him. So I think the likelihood is that we are going to end up haven't we are gonna end up losing Rui. There's just no way of getting around it. But at least we've got potentially some players that can replace him. Uh and if they don't work out we can sell them and make some money on them probably. Yeah that'll do. I'm not gonna go for any more. There you go, Rui. Sod off, you're not getting him for one million. Do worst, no. Can I sign Dewars to a new contract? No, I can't. That's a shame. Uh, at least he hasn't got a minimum fee release clause, so we'll just keep rejecting offers for him. We've got him here for three years. He can bugger off. I'll, I'll, I'd rather lose him on a free transfer than sell him. Uh, we're not selling Daniel Maldini for that much. You give us five million. No. Well, then you ain't getting him, then Wrexham. Harvey Warren. No. Let's look at these low ball offers. It's starting to win away me. Fine. You can go. I don't care. Uh, you can go, but you can go for hundred grand. Fine, we'll just accept them. I don't really care about him that much, to be honest, to make a big fuss about it. Ricky Moran. Good versatile player, can play in good in a few positions. No. I know I'm probably confusing the media because I'm saying I'm saying yeah we'll welcome offers for the players, like like say for instance Gary Rui, but yeah, it's just because I'm too quick when I click on it. Thomas Bazou, well I'm short this. I don't really want to sign many other players now. I'd rather just keep the players I've got. Do like a South American winger though. I'll leave it for now. Yeah, 
Yeah, he would be a terrific signing. He's very he can play in a lot of positions as well. I know he's a left back. I know we're like ridiculously stacked in the full backs now. He's another good player as well. He's only three hundred grand at the most. Right, so we get on in our friendly. Uh, he doesn't want to come to us. He's only just signed a new contract. We beat QPR five four. That must have been an entertaining game for the fans that turned up for that. Fact: Who scored for us in that game? Hoyland, Bruce, Hoyland, Maldini, Maldini. If I get a decent offer for Maldini, I'll sell him, but or at least get my money back. Nope. Well, how much do you want for him then? You want at least? Oh, okay. We're not going to get him as cheap as I thought we would. So we'll try a million plus ten percent profit on the next deal. Okay, let's try. Two million. Hopefully, they'll accept that offer. Uh, taking a while to process this, I suppose because it's the 30th of June. Right, Cole Joseph's gone. Oh, I don't, I don't, I'm not going to accept that, no, I'm not going to accept that. Okay, that's fine. Right, we signed a talented young player called Richie Moran. We'll send him out on loan straight away, get him some first team football. Right, see how we get on against Derby County. 1 1. Ah, uh, Gouet's out for four or five weeks already. That's not good. Luckily, we've still got Hoyland and Stewart. Right, 1st of July. Let's see who is available on a free BL. Contract saves unattached. And then we go international. Connor Bradley. Doing well for. I think that's the Connor. Is that the Connor Bradley that plays for Liverpool? I think it is. Yeah. Playing well for Liverpool in real life, he's uh, he's one of their next uh, big prospects from the youth academy. Fair play to him, even though I hate Liverpool, but fair, fair play. They've always managed to produce some good young players over the years. Yeah, that's it, there's not really much there, is there? 
Why is there only 200 not? I've done something wrong here. I need to clear this. Hurry up. There we go. Right, clear. And then we go... Oh, I know why. I know why that was. Because it was just right backs, wasn't it? There we go. So we've got him here. Asmu. I think he'd be a good player to have. Squad player. Oh, he's another good player as well, isn't he, from what I remember. Well, hopefully you might get us more fans in the Middle East, you never know. God, that's a blast from the past, isn't it? Joe Pahadjian and Parabello, whatever his name is. Uh, I'll give him a scout, you never know. I don't think I'll sign him because I've, I've got so many bloody strikers as it is. A lot of Middle Eastern players on this one. Can be again another bloody striker. No, I'm not gonna bother with him. Stuart Dallas, didn't I? Stuart Dallas, no, he's too old. Too old. Ooh, Leonardo Paredes. Yes, please. I'll have a bit of him. Uh, Maria Lamina. Nah, he's probably too old. I ain't going to bother with him. Baba Raman. Play for, play, it was at Chelsea forever. Never played. Michael Gregovich. Uh, we'll scout him. You never know. Oh no, he's another striker. We won't be signing him. Marvellous Nakamba. Hopefully we won't regret that. Valdo Coetzee from South Africa. He's a good player actually. He's a good defender. Tall as well, which is what we like. I think he's tall. Some uh, some decent free transfers, but nobody like amazing. Nobody like no like well known superstar player which is sad because we always usually sign one fortunately doesn't look like there's anybody here we'll keep going then oh, I thought that was Mohamed Salah then oh. I know he's A rated but uh, no, I've just got too many players now. I've got to. Be, I've just got to stop signing everybody now. Right, unless they're like a really amazing player, I'm not signing anybody else now. Bruno, no, it's too old. Let's keep going. You never know. We might come across somebody. Nah, by the looks of it, I don't think we're going to find anybody. It's a shame. But you can't always get them type of seasons where you can sign these superstar players. Maybe that's a sign of things to come. Jonathan Russell. Uh, oh, it's not the Jonathan Russell I was thinking of. I've never heard of him. 
I was thinking it was the Scottish international who went to play for, is it Sporting Kansas or something like that? That's who I was thinking it was. Yeah, by the looks of it. Let's go a bit quicker here, try and... Nah. Oh, that's a shame. Oh, well. It is what it is. Sorry, everyone. No superstar coming in this season. Right, Joe Gellhart, forgot we signed him. Uh, and then we brought Collins Faye back just for the nostalgia run. He's never he's never gonna play for us. Staff attributes. So he's a director of football. Uh no. Nope. Uh yeah, that's fine. Right then on that note. I'm going to call an end to this episode and then next episode we'll be getting the rest of pre-season done and then starting the Europa League qualifying campaign. So yeah, thank you as always for following. I hope you're enjoying it and all the best and enjoy the rest of your uh, Saturday. Bye.